Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. In today's video we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers Studio Series Bumblebee movie Core Class Ravage. A very small figure but yet yeah, incredibly exciting as not only is this guy essentially an accessory pack to the awesome Bumblebee movie Soundwave but he does also open up an entire Pandora's box of other minion style characters that we are yet to see. I personally would love to see Dark of the Moon Laserbeak redone in this scale, even a Revenge of the Fallen Ravage as this guy for the price point I actually think has turned out terrific. Now we'll waste no time at all and of course delve straight here into the details you can see here we have Ravage fully transformed up into that awesome mechanical Jaguar mode now sadly we don't really get a great full look of this guy in the film but from what I could actually find of some of the concept art this almost looks perfect this is a really really nice representation of the character you can see it in terms of the overall proportions something that I was quite worried to see as to whether or not they'd be able to pull off at this scale actually have turned out really nicely you can see the legs look great the torso the head the tail all looks really nice and the attention to detail especially in that head alone is just something to marvel at you can see the skull work there for the teeth as well as that wicked looking tongue we've got the snout the eyes the mechanical paint detailing there to the actual side of the face i think the pupils look awesome you can see there this massive missile barge accessory attached to the neck region and of course we've got these missile pods attached there to the sides i think the paint whilst sparingly used has been used very effectively and the shade of metallic gunmetal they've cast the main body out of looks really really awesome you can see there some nice spinal sculpture and then of course we've got the tip there of the tail so overall very very impressive once again for the core class and ten dollar price point I was quite intrigued to see how characters of which were actually designed to be in this scale would turn out and honestly I think Ravage here is awesome honestly if the figures are half as good as this guy going forward for the core class then we're definitely in for a treat now in regards to articulation Ravage has got a hinge joint here at the head which can look up and down as well as a jaw of which can jump open and closed sadly no rotation here at the head left to right that is a slight shame but we do get ball joints here at the shoulders which can hinge forwards backwards as well as tilt out to the sides of course we get a hinge joint there at the elbow as well as here for the of the toe and then finally for these hind legs these two are also on ball joints it's very difficult to in fact actually get a proper grip of this guy on camera considering how small he is but these can go forwards and backwards we get a hinge joint there at the knee and then a hinge joint here at the lower section of the foot and then finally one here for the actual toe and then finally the tail here can also hinge forwards and backwards now in addition to the missile barge here at the top as well as the missiles on the side of the legs ravage does also include an additional accessory designed specifically in my opinion for sound wave now for those of you who are familiar with the original g1 toy this looks exactly like the chromed out missile that that figure came with you can see this time completely decked out in metallic silver i think the skull work is really nice and what a wicked inclusion honestly they really have gone all out on these b-movie figures and it's great to see that you can in fact also armor up soundwave now for whatever reason if you decide not to pick soundwave up you can also take this here and peg this here onto the underside of ravage to once again make this guy look like a proper threat to the autobots here for a quick Minion Studio Series comparison, we've got the new Core Class Ravage compared next to some of the Minions of which sadly have just been packaged in as accessories. So you can see the stark difference in terms of the amount of detail between these guys. And once more, as mentioned beforehand, I'd really love to see a reworking here of Ravage, of course, Dark of the Moon, Laserbeak, and even here, the first movie, Scorponok. I think that would be a super, super cool looking figure, but you can see just in comparison to the ROTF version that came with Grindor, honestly, it's literally like night and day. I really hope we can in fact see a revised version of this guy. Here he is alongside Scorponok, you can see to be fair actually not that different in terms of scale but of course in terms of complexity this guy absolutely obliterates Scorponok and then of course finally for the studio series comparisons here we've got him next to Igor and really just to showcase the differences in terms of design here we have the Ravage that came packaged with that new age third party rendition of Soundwave so you can see very very different I actually really liked how the Revenge of the Fallen version came out and once more it would just be so cool to see this particular design done in the core class as truth be told I think it would probably turn out just as good as this new age rendition did but you can see there from a side perspective the new age version of course is significantly bigger here than our studio series offering and comparing Ravage alongside Soundwave you can see that once more I think the scale works pretty nicely when we do in fact actually see Prime punch Ravage and he sort of stands by Soundwave in the film whilst it's a very brief glimpse I do think that perhaps he should be slightly bigger but then if they were to increase the scale then maybe it would have been a little more difficult to in fact actually pack him within the chest so I think the scale actually works for the most part pretty nicely and of course if you own Soundwave or if you own Ravage then you really have to buy the other as they are really perfect companion pieces. Now, turning to transformation, truth be told, it's actually more fiddly than complex. So to begin with, you're going to want to take these missiles and just pop them here off to the side for now. Of course, take this one situated at the neck, remove that. We can then take the head, collapse the jaw, and just snap that in there. We're then going to want to take these hind legs, rotate the ball joints so that they're facing all the way up. And then you're going to want to disengage this gray section from this tail. So I would recommend grabbing both of these and just sort of hinging the tail backwards which will allow for a little bit of clearance to in fact actually launch this here 
all the way down. So you're just going to want to fold that up until that snaps into place. I would then recommend actually gripping hold of that, bringing these legs backwards, as of course you don't want to bend this hinge joint, and then taking the tail and just snapping that into place and folding that alongside like so. You can see here for the legs that we do indeed get some tiny little tabs that will peg into these ports here. So just hinge these arms up and then just fold all of this here in until that will clip into place, come to this side, and of course repeat the exact same process of so snap that in there. And for these legs, we get these tiny little circular ports that will peg into these tabs. So just hinge that up like so, take the paw, sit that flush here, alongside that leg, of course, come to this side and repeat the exact same process, just like so. And in terms of weapon storage, you can in fact take the tail hinge that out of the way, bring in the missile barge, and this will just peg there, and then you can just collapse it over the top. And here for these larger missiles, they do just attach here onto the sides, just like that. And then we have Ravage fully transformed up into the Cybertronian cassette. Now granted, doesn't look like much, but to be fair, we don't really ever see it in this form in the film. And if I'm being honest, judging by the 3.0 version, I actually think this here has turned out pretty accurate. So bringing Soundwave out, this is where things get super cool. For those of you who recall, of course, Soundwave had that spring-loaded trap door, which then would reveal a massive hollow compartment. And that's because it's always been designed to in fact store the Cybertronian cassette here of Ravage. So this guy fits in there super snugly. You can see literally fills out that entire void which I just think is super awesome engineering although I would be slightly cautious here of this transparent tab of which actually holds this together now granted I don't think it's going to break anytime soon but if you do wish to sort of preserve the longevity of this and just to kind of alleviate this of any pressure at all then I would definitely recommend coming here to the back and just sort of untabbing this region just so that you can kind of just push ravage in just that little bit further as there is a tiny bit of friction where this particular foot region of ravages it just sort of pushes against this which then of course you don't want to put unnecessary stress on this tab but he does close very very nicely and you can see there of course there is ravage beneath this almost windshield section which i think looks super cool of course you can deploy him ravage Agent. and he's very easy to in fact also remove which is a super super nice touch but it doesn't end there of course you saw earlier on that we did get that g1 inspired missile that's because you can in fact actually peg it into the almost shoulder rocket launcher which once again is just such a nice touch so this really is a nice homage to that original g1 toy and i think it looks super cool actually being pegged here into the shoulder cannon and soundwave that actually never ever looked better so once more if you own soundwave then truth be told you really have to pick up ravage and of course fire versa i'm super super pleased with how this particular gimmick's turned out and i'm really hoping that we can see more of this in the studio series as up until this point we really haven't seen that many gimmicks with this line so far and so wrapping up this review for the transformers studio series bumblebee movie core class ravage in all i think it's once again a fantastic figure i'm really really impressed just as a standalone release for a core class ten dollar release i think it's awesome in terms of robot mode incredibly accurate to the movie and especially considering the scale the detail as well as the paint is very surprising i was also very surprised to see just articulate those legs are. I really would have loved to have seen maybe a hinge joint at the head so you could have had him looking left to right but that really is just a minor critique for what is otherwise fantastic. He definitely comes with a great array of accessories. The Soundwave missile was a really nice bonus feature and was something that I really do think that overall is the icing on the cake. Whilst the transformation is really simplistic it can prove a little fiddly especially considering how small some of those joints are so it can take quite a few attempts just to really get the hang of it but of course when you get him transformed up it looks pretty decent to what we actually saw from the film and of course this figure's main design is to in fact actually be incorporated within the chest of Soundwave, of which I think it does really, really nicely. Honestly, I think it's such a fantastic feature that you can in fact actually have Ravage being cross compatible with Soundwave. And I think within the chest unit, once again, it's a really, really nice touch. If anything, Ravage does in fact make Soundwave an already great figure even better. And as mentioned beforehand, these guys truly do go hand in hand with each other. So if you pick up one, then you definitely have to pick up the other. I would love to know down in the comment section below on what you guys thought of both the figure as well as the review. What do you guys think of in fact actually introducing Core Class? into the studio series line for the first wave. I think this is a smash out. Really looking forward to seeing as to what we can see in the future. And of course, it would be just so cool to see some other minions, in fact, finally get a proper transforming version. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this review. And of course, until my next video, I'll see you then. Thanks for watching.